Welcome to Saraswati Sisikul. Chai Ming to all. Today we will learn subject EVS standard third. Chapter number three. Plant fan. Okay children. Before we start, can you tell me what did we learn in the previous video? Okay. Let me tell you. In the previous video, we learn about the parts of the plant. We also learn that plants need air, water, and sunlight to grow. Plants need air, water, and sunlight to grow. We learn about the function of the different types of plant. First, we learn about the roots. How roots helpful to the plants? So roots help the plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil. And root fixes plant to the soil. Root absorb water and minerals from the soil. And root fixes plant to the soil. Now the function of the stem. Stem support the plant. Stem supports the plant. And stem bears flowers. Branches and leaves. This way, stem helpful to the plant. Now, next is leaves. How do leaves helpful to the plants? So, leaves make food for the plant. Leaves are also called a kitchen of the plant because they make food for the plant. The next is flower. Why do plants have flower? Because flower help the plant to form fruit. First flower grow on the plant, then fruit start to form. And the last is fruit. Then why do plants have fruit? Because fruit protect the seed. Fruit have seed inside them. Okay, so they protect the seed. And seeds give rise to new plant. Seeds give rise to new plant. So this way we learn about the different function of the plant. Now next we learn today about the types of the plant. But children, do you have a question rise in your mind? That why this chapter name is plant fairy? Okay, so let me tell you why the name of the chapter is plant fairy. Let's we start. Let us we read the chapter. Last Sunday we went to a garden in the neighborhood. We played hide and seek and antaksari. We had a lot of fun. After some time, Didi said, Let us play a new game today. We had played this game in the camp last year. I will become a plant fairy. The plant fairy will call out a name of something and you all will have to touch it. The game began. Didi said, the plant fairy asks you to touch a plant. At once, all the children ran towards the plant. You can see in this picture, it was Sunday morning and children were playing in the garden. First, they play hide and seek and antaksari. But afterwards, Didi suggested them to play a game plant fairy. Then, they started to play the game plant fairy with Didi. There were four children playing the game plant fairy. Okay? And the Didi was plant fairy. Now, the plant fairy asked to touch a plant. So, children ran towards the plant. Oh, touch very good plant. Shabnam Jasmine plant, Dayanam touch, Neem tree and Maitam sit near the Mehdi bush. Okay? Didi was sitting in the middle of the garden. Then Didi says, Okay, very good children. You touch the different plant. Didi asked the children, Children, have you noticed that all the plants are different from each other? The one of the children child say that Didi, you also sit on the one kind of plant. Didi was sitting on the grass. Okay? So there were different kinds of plants in the garden. Now, the game start again. Plant fairy asks to touch a tree which has thick or thin stem. You can 
So first step of the plan is the tree. First we will learn about trees. Okay, do you have a question that what is the difference between tree and plant? Trees are one type of plants. As we learn that plants are different type. Okay, so first type of the plant that is the tree. Branches.
their stem are also weak creepers have weak and soft stem like the climber creepers stem also very weak they are not able to stand like the other plants that is why they spray on the ground they grow and spray on the ground and their fruits are also very heavy like watermelon and pumpkin their fruits are heavy so that is why they cannot stand like other plants they spray on the ground for example watermelon and pumpkin are creepers next type of plants are grasses g r a s s e s grasses g r a s e s grasses grasses are very important type of plants grasses are very important types of plants grasses have long thin and blade like leaves leaves of the grass are different than other plants okay their leaves are long and blade like grasses is food for many domestic and wild animal many wild animals as well domestic animal depend on grass for their food so that is why grass is food for many domestic animal as well wild animal example of grasses are rice wheat sugarcane they are example of grasses okay children let's we check what we learned fill in the blanks are plants that need a support to stand so answer will be climbers climbers are plants that need a support to stand second blanks are plants that have a bushy appearance blanks are plant that have a bushy appearance so answer will be what will be the answer shrubs and the answer of the first number is the climber the answer of the second blanks is the shrub shrubs are plants that have a bushy appearance third number blanks have soft and green stem hops hops are very small in size and they have soft and green stem okay children next blanks are plants that creep on the ground blanks are the plant that creep or spread on the ground what will be the answer the answer will be creepers creepers are the plant that creep on the ground next thick brown stem of a tree is called blank thick brown stem of the tree that is called trunk so answer will be trunk answer the following question write six different kinds of plants you have to write here six different kinds of plants let's see right which are the six different kinds of the plants trees shrubs hops climbers creepers and grasses these all are six type of plants once again trees shrubs hops climbers creepers and grasses are six different kinds of plants next question name any two plants that you see in your surrounding can you see in your surrounding any of the plant name you have write here mango tree and neem tree okay now next question 